Hello, all you magnificent people, Derpo the Magnificent here, and today we're back with Deadbolt. Now, before we get started, got a couple of things. First off, I already recorded this episode, but turns out that due to me not exactly understanding the new recording software I got, it didn't get recorded. All I recorded was the audio, and not the video at all, so hooray! You gotta redo all about three levels, so you will be seeing me go through levels that I've already done, unfortunately. Um, but on the upside, that means I should be able to get a lot of levels done in one episode. So, upsides and downsides. Now, onto that whole new recording program thing that I got. So, I've ditched Fraps in favor of OBS, Open Broadcast Software. It's meant for streaming, but you can use it for recording. So far, it seems to be all upsides. Um, it's free, it records in the same format as Fraps, but in for some reason it takes up way less disk, disk space. Like, Fraps took up like 3 gigabytes for 3 minutes of footage. But for this one, I haven't even reached a gigabyte of footage yet. I've like tried to reach a gigabyte of footage and I just can't. You have to record for quite a while to get a single gigabyte. So this thing is insane. Uh, thirdly, no frame rate drops at all. No frame rate problems whatsoever. It's as if I'm not even recording. It's amazing. I love it. So, I'm going to be using this from now on. Uh, there may be a slight quality drop or something like that. I don't know. It may not look as good or something. I really have no idea. Um, so, if there is a quality drop, please let me know. Because, uh, as I just said, no idea. But basically what this means is this opens up a heck of a lot of options for me to... Uh, play games. Like, uh, I can now play Binding of Isaac, because Fraps just couldn't handle that. This program can handle it. No problem. Ugh, so I got the hiccups. But yeah, so, this also means that when I record TF2 episodes, uh, I won't suck, because it won't be lagging, so... All around, fantastic and amazing. So, let's hop into it. As I said, I have done all of these levels that you're about to see. But I'll redo them. What that also means is you won't get to hear the fire speeches, but you're not missing much. You're just missing odd cryptic poems. So I did that one, and then Structurally Sound, Bar Hopping, and Horror Show. I completed all three of these already, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try and five-star them. That's a lie. I won't try and five-star them. I'll just try and play them the way that uh, I did. Ah. really like the uh, music for this level. Music, or the particular track is uh, Proverbial Dust Spiders. Really like it. So, basically, what's up with this level is there are these guys. They're jerks. I hate their guts. Um, and they put landmines everywhere. So, what you gotta do is you gotta shoot the landmines and kill the dudes. If you just straight up kill that guy, then. Oh, wait, you can just shoot the landmine. Whatever. 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 Okay, so. I'm pretty sure I know how to do this. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm just gonna beat that guy with a hammer. I'm not even gonna waste a shot. Uh, probably should have killed these guys first, actually. Yep. Okay. Uh, when you kill these guys, they drop grenade launchers. Grenade launchers have one shot and just instantly kill anything they hit. Also, I just realized there's a floating vent here. Like, there's no reason for this vent to be here at all. That's kinda odd. Also, didn't notice this was here, so that's good. Oh, bugger, I alerted that guy up there. That's annoying as fudge, because those guys, once they get alerted, they just start running around and going, bloop. Hello, sir. Oh, God, shut the door. Shoot the guy. Pick up another grenade launcher. Okay. <laughs> I think we're good. Oh, no, there's another guy coming. He's dead. How the fudge did any of this work? I have no idea. Uh, can I kill this guy with a single hammer throw? Yes, I can. And I can kill the dogs and return to my car. You gotta watch out for landmines when you're done with the level because <laughs> there was a little mishap with uh, one of the other levels, and uh, I completed the whole level, killed everyone after like a ton of trying, and it was super difficult and stuff, and I finally completed it and then stepped on a landmine. It was horribly embarrassing. <laughs> uh, this one, actually. No, it was, it was Horror Show. Yeah, bar hopping. This is where uh, generals get introduced. You don't see them till the end of the level, though. It's quite interesting. Okay, so I actually figured out that I'm going with the scythe and the mouse gun for these levels because it's just really, really good. Except in this case, I'm going to be exchanging the mouse gun for the bolt-action rifle because the bolt-action rifle is infinitely superior in every single way to every gun in the entire game. 
Also, I just realized I switched out my scythe for uh, the bolt action, which is not something I want to do. Uh, because the uh, scythe is... I, I kind of need it. Kind of. If I dispatch of that guy quickly, then I can just come down here and destroy this guy. He's pretty easy. Uh, when we go up here, a sergeant spawns, so we just want to pop our heads up and then come back down. Come over here, walk this way, open the door just in case. Uh, and we want to kill this guy, preferably before he gets the light. Awesome. We can waste all of our ammo for that gun just because, for some reason, when we move on, uh, we lose the gun. So, I'm going to be taking the mouse gun. Hopefully we won't lose this. F everything. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't do that. I need my scythe. I'm sorry, guys, but no, they can't do that. They cannot take away my scythe. I physically can't complete the levels if I don't have a scythe, so... Guess we're starting that level over! That's really glitchy. Uh, go up here, long stick grenade, go back down. <laughs> I somehow hit the guy behind him, and not the guy in front of him. Uh, I am truly the master of idiocy. Doofus. Yes, we kept the scythe. Very glitchy and weird, that. Don't know why it does that. Can't knock on this door, which is really frustrating, so I'll just have to kill this guy with... Uh, actually, this is what I have to do. I have to alert these guys. Wow, did not mean to alert them that much. Uh, what? Let's uh, try that again. Try that, try that again. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Uh, I want to throw this hammer at that. Why did he shoot me? Oh, I want to pick up the hammer first, dang it. Do that first. Okay. Now I'm going to pick this up. Launcher grenade for this guys. That only killed one guy, and then I died. Golly, what the heck? I guess you will get to see the full experience, because this is dumb. Killed two guys that time. Hooray! That's what I meant to do. Uh, these guys are really difficult to kill. Like, really, really hard to kill. Like, really, really hard to kill. <laughs> These guys are super difficult to kill. Kills both of them without any trouble at all. Okay, so those three sergeants scared the crap out of me first time I played this level. That was not fun. Okay, so for some reason, this doesn't exactly work as intended. I had really hoped that I would be able to kill both these guys with one landmine, but it doesn't work that way, because when you turn off this microwave timer, it's supposed to attract their attention, but it doesn't for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm just going to knock on the door and run this way. Because that just works so much better. There we go, he's dead. Hey, doofus. Oh. Uh. No! Oh, golly. That was really close. Woo! That was freaking dangerous as fudge. I had no idea if they actually came back down. And they do. <laughs> I'm gonna get terrible rating for that, but I don't care. Okay, so this is where the liches come in. They come in and revive dudes. You have to stop them from doing so by destroying them instantly. Uh, I figured this out. You actually just have to run really, really fast. Except that you don't want to do that. Except that you do, but... Okay, look, it makes sense. There we go. Okay. Now I run over here. Turn this light off. We want to wait for this guy to come downstairs. Because he will come downstairs. He is an idiot. These, the liches are really cool, or sorry, generals, uh, because they turn you into ash to kill you. It's really cool. I would show you, but that would include me dying, so perhaps not. Bar hopping, complete. Three stars, wow, this is even worse. Alrighty, on to the next level. Horror show. Alright, should be able to get through this one relatively quickly because, uh, well, it was the one I did most recently. So, hopefully I know what I'm doing, hopefully, uh... Nothing goes wrong. Stuff will stuff will go wrong. Stuff always goes wrong. Get wrecked. Come over here. Turn the light off. Shoot that guy in the face a whole buttload of times. Come over here. That guy will get interested. Why did that light turn off? That was really weird. Whoa! Okay, that was... Their behavior is sometimes unpredictable, which is annoying. But, uh, nothing I can't handle. Do -do 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 -do. I realize that this is way less fun to watch when I don't, when I know exactly what I'm doing. It's just, I don't know. Why is that doing what it's doing? Okay, I don't care. This is the best part ever. This idiot 
just sits there and plants landmines everywhere. So you just go, hey, uh, sir, what are you doing? Sir? Sir, excuse me. And the entire room explodes. <laughs> it's so, so silly. <laughs> Unfortunately, this man is now doing his thing. Unfortunately for him, I mean. Okay, so there's a landmine right there. I gotta be really careful about that. Uh, I wanna turn the light off. Where the flips the light switch? Uh, no. I want to turn the light off, thank you. We want to go up here, attract the dog's attention, and kill them in the dark. Because in the dark, they can't see me very well because they're idiots. And by idiots, I mean dogs. Sorry if you're a dog lover. Okay, so yeah, those landmines there, I blew myself up on them after completing this entire level. <sighs> kind of a frustrating thing to do. Quickly open this door. Quickly grab the bolt action rifle. Quickly aim. Wait for him to be an absolute moron. Fire a grenade over there to clear that out. Shoot that mine. And we're good. That broke that window for some reason. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Alrighty, so we've completed the level now. Now I just have to not die. By the way, we came here because we were looking for the goods, whatever that was. For some reason, the skeletons had stuff. And we're gonna find out what that stuff is. Corpses. I should tell the boss. Maybe his candles know something. Alrighty, so now we just gotta get out of here without stepping on a landmine, which is uh, a little bit more difficult than you'd think. Especially since the landmines are literally glowing red. Don't really know how I parked in here. Just think about that for a sec. How the fudge did I park this? If this is like a 2D universe, which it's not, I mean, I probably just drove up around this building and then did a parallel park in between these two. Parking right there probably would have been an easier thing, but you know, whatever. I'm Reaper. I can do whatever the fudge I want. Alright. Oh, and I got five stars! Totally worth coming back and doing that. Alright, so we've been recording for 13 minutes, which means we can go on and do other stuff. Also, I just realized I've been using the mouse gun this whole time without explaining it, so that's a little bit annoying. But basically what the mouse gun is, it has two shots. It says low power, but it, if it hits someone in the head, it will pretty much insta-kill them. It's also very, very accurate. And it's quite, it's amazing when paired with the scythe. So, let's talk to the fire. The flames roar to life. Timur is free, knows purpose of flesh. A man with desire cannot live with me. There's no reply, but the flames continue to crackle. He said that in one of the previous ones, one of the ones that you missed, which I don't get because that's what the flame's saying, is it not? Unless that's what the candles are saying, but, uh, I don't know. Timur's the chief engineer for the dredged. His crafting skills are only matched by his paranoia. His lab is outfitted with traps. I will have to tread carefully. Hooray! Traps! My favorite thing ever because they're really doofy and you can use them against people all the time. Timur is a high-ranking dredged. I'll find out what he knows. Let's gig it a go! Timur the Tinkerer. More time! I just need more time! Holy crap! What? We're getting all... Uh, stuff up in here. Oh god! What the hell? How the hell do you avoid that? Oh, don't walk into it. Can I disarm these? Yes, I can. Thank gosh. Oh, I take the shotgun. That's good. Woo! Two with one. Uh. Okay, so don't touch. <laughs> do it. Do it. No, I won't. Uh, I want to do that one. Except that I don't want to do that one. Because there's a pressure plate on the ground there. I don't know what it, it would do. Just explode. Good. Awesome. Oh, and it does it every time I step on it. Oh, whatever. Okay, so I... <laughs> I'm just gonna get those to kill that guy. Oh, they killed me too. I had to keep running. That's annoying. <laughs> This is cool! Traps, man. Got them both in one go again. That's nice. Okay, so we want to step on that and run the other direction. Boom. 
explosive. And then we want to open the door. What the hell did I do that for? <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Oh. Oh. Um, apparently the mouse gun is not as powerful as I thought. That's a little disappointing. Oh, fudge off. Okay, let's do this, like, really properly. Knock on the door, run over this way, take cover. Death, death, death. Oh, and he didn't alert any of those guys. That's very nice of them. Uh... Lol. Uh, give me another shotgun, please. Why didn't I kill that other guy? That's annoying. These also only have one shot each. That's really annoying. Get out of cover, you scumbag. Okay, I like that. I'm happy with that. I'm good. We're good. I like it? Yes. Uh, terrified here. We want to go here, because that will drop me on top of that. And we will pick up that shotgun, which will give us ammo. And then we want to go... None of those are safe spots, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to love those mines. Then drop in the middle of them. This is really clever and cool. I like it. And just do that. Awesome. There's an achievement for killing this guy with traps. Don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Howdy, sir! <laughs> Poor fool. Alright, so, no idea how we're supposed to kill this guy with traps, but I'm gonna do it somehow. Uh, there's a valve preventing me from just getting in there. Oh, that's a wall. I thought that was a door. It's not a door. Uh, if I drop in right there, that'll instantly kill me. If I go right here, good luck, Reaper. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me figure this out. Uh, that one. Yeah, it's this, it's this one right here. Yep. Holy crap! <laughs> Why didn't I get an achievement for that? I killed Timur with traps. Oh, whatever. I hope you open the safe. There are some stray pieces of paper. Immolation was unsuccessful. I'm still Timur. I will become a reaper and live forever and find warmth from the fire just as he has. Ooh, trying to become a reaper. Trying to become me. I've been watching him and his warmth, but what if I immolate myself in his fireplace? Could I find his warmth then? Oh right, because the skeletons are always cold. Blueprints of some kind of portal. It seems to use body parts for construction. That explains why the skeletons have been collecting meat. There's no knowing what would happen if the undead left this place. I have to tell my employer. Oh, now I'm stopping the undead from getting and invading the world and crap. Okay, by the way, I'm just gonna do that. Just because that was fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, I should probably open the valve. It's weird. You get an ach Like I just said, you get an achievement for killing him without traps. Or with traps. And, uh... Killed him with traps, didn't get an achievement. So, that went really well. Did not get five stars, but you know, didn't get any stars at all. It's horrific. Okay, let's uh, sit and talk, and then we'll uh, probably wrap the episode up. It's been 20 minutes, so yeah. The flames roared to life. Demons, they cross the river. Ibzan feels the flame. Higher help from beyond. Demons are not dead, but die just the same. Ibzan is getting his car serviced at a nearby garage, defended by demons. The return address to his home should be on the car. Demons? Creatures from beyond Charon's River. They sometimes make their way up as hired mercenaries. The Candles nor my employer know how the skeletons are paying for their service. Cool. We got demons. Still can't turn this light off. Interesting. Uh, also, the flame has made no comment on the chandelier that he gave me, which is very nice of him. He seems to be attempting to make me, I guess, become human. 
Still no uh, new thingies. That's a little annoying. Oh well. So I think I'm gonna actually wrap this episode up for realsies this time, not with the wrapping it up and then figuring out it didn't actually record, because I know it's recording this time. So, yeah. Anyway, once again, let me know how the recording software went, because, again, no idea. So, yeah, that is it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a magnificent day. Derpo the Magnificent out.